Shalom. Giving our praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the hopeful elect. Seek the Lord. No, no. The invitation to truth is time sensitive. The invitation back to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah is time sensitive. Meaning it's not going to be preached forever. It's going to be preached until the Lord Yahweh Shah return. Let's go to a subscription. This is Isaiah 55, verse 6. Seek ye the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. While he may be found, call ye upon him while he is near. And we are living in the days and times that the preaching is going out on the highways, hedges, street corner, and on the internet, YouTube, for the children of Israel, the so called black, Hispanic, and Native American Indians to come back and repent and seek the Lord. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. It's that simple. Let's get some more. It's Romans 13, 11. Romans 13, chapter 11, verse. And that knowing the time, these are the days and the time, and knowing the time too, and that knowing the time, that now, now, it is high time to awake out of sleep. The Lord is, through the Holy Spirit, the Kakwadas, is raising up his, his saints, his service. To tell his children, the children of Israel, to come back and worship him. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. And that knowing the time, these are the times. Knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. And that sleep that we, we were put in. The Lord sent his people under strong delusion that they believe a lie. And that delusion is that wicked teaching of Christianity. And that lie is the J word. The people believe in. It is high time to awake out of the sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. It's that simple. So you, you can't just sit around and keep on listening to the word. You got to come back and repent. Make notarian. This is uh, Ecclesiasticus 5 and 7. Let me get that. Ecclesiasticus, Ecclesiasticus 5th chapter. Seventh verse. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, and put not off from day to day. Why? For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, come forth. And that reminds me of Isaiah 66, 15, 16, 17. That wrath is going to come. He's going to come with fire and chariots. I'm supposed to be looking up the scripture on the screen. There you go. Salakia. What was that at? Ecclesiasticus. Five and seven. Yeah. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, and put off and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Let's get that the Lord coming back, coming forth. That's Isaiah 66. We we'll start at the 15. For behold, the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, 
will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Verse 16, for by fire and his sword will the Lord, Yahweh by Shemi Yahweh plead with all flesh and the slain those killed by the Lord of the Lord shall be many. Is that something? So make no tearing, tearing me not to me wait, make no waiting to turn to the Lord. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Seek the Lord while he may be found because the Lord is, and call upon the Lord and call upon him while he is near and he is near, he's, he's present today. By the way, by the way of the Holy Spirit and the preaching of the saints, the service, the prophets, the hopefully elect men on the highways, hate the street corner, and on the internet, YouTube. And it is high time to awake out of sleep. It's Romans. Romans 13, 11. Mm -hmm. And that knowing the time, these are the times that we're supposed to know. Knowing the time that now it is high time, and that high time goes into most most important time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. Giving our praise, let me go back. Giving our praise and get some more scriptures. Okay, let's go to Matthew ten thirty four. I just I just uh, read this from my laptop. Ten, wanted to make the, the lesson longer. We have seven minutes now. Matthew ten chapter thirty four verse, talking about the Lord Yahweh Shah. And he said, "Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not." To send peace but a sword The Lord coming back with a sword He's not bringing peace He's bringing vengeance, fury, fires of flames of fire He's bringing destruction and desolation To the, to the wicked people Esau, even the so called white race And to totally, de totally destroyed Babylon The great America Came not to send peace But a sword Let's get some more Let's go to Romans 1411 talking about the Lord and his sword when he returned it was 1411 and every knee gonna bow Romans 14 chapter 11 verse 4 it is written as I live saith the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah every knee shall bow to me and every tongue shall confess to Yahweh, the Most High. Let's get some more. Philippians 2.10 Philippians 2 and 10 That at the name of Yahweh every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. Lord gonna if you don't make if you don't make haste to return to the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh all these things gonna come true. Let's get some more. I read Isaiah 66, 16. Psalm 37, 38. The Lord, Yahweh, by Shimei is going to cut off the, trans, the transgressors. 
but the transgressors shall be destroyed together. The end of the wicked shall be cut off. Yes. Call hello, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Yes. Let's get some more. We go to Proverbs 14 11. The house of the wicked gonna be the house of the wicked is going to be overthrown. Proverbs 14 11. The house of the wicked shall be overthrown, but the tabernacle of the upright shall flourish. And that tabernacle of the upright is those that believe in the house of faith, the elect. That that believe in the 100 percent truth taught by the elder apostles of Great Millstone, starting with Elder Tahar all the way down through the Akium all around the world. Giving our praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakak Kwadash, double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the hopeful elect. On to the next one. The invitation to the truth is time sensitive. Shalom.